Welcome back to Rivet Up Bowling. My name is Jason Robarge, and today we have another ball review for you. Today we're gonna be reviewing the new Hammer Scorpion Low Flare. The Scorpion is the third ball of the Scorpion line. However, it does sport a completely different cover stock and completely different core. Well, not quite completely, but a little bit. So what they did in this ball is they kept the LED core, but it's now the 3.0. They removed the flip puck in it, lowering the differential and the flare potential. Uh, they also stuck a Semtex hybrid cover stock on this thing. It's pretty aggressive, comes out at 2,000 out of box. Uh, sports around a 2.52, 2.47 and 14 uh, RG and a uh, 0.031 differential. So a ball like this, who would be good for? Guys with high rev rate, probably their benchmark ball. Something smooth, predictable. The core is a little bit lower, doesn't flare as much, but it does have a strong cover stock to get it to slow down. I feel like, especially for me, this ball would be pretty good uh, for some fresher patterns and just kind of an overall benchmark ball to kind of show you what the lane's giving you. For the, for the lower rev rate bowlers, I feel like this ball could be pretty versatile for you. Kind of blends out the trickier patterns um, and, and kind of hooks a little bit earlier for, for some people. So, um, what we're gonna be bowling on today is the 2023 men's team event that got bowled in Reno na last year at Nationals. Uh, it's kind of a tricky pattern, but I wanted to throw some bowling bowls on trickier patterns just to give you guys a little bit more in-depth overview of what each of these balls do. I have thrown this ball in league. I think I shot 770 with it, so obviously it's definitely nice for me blends out those higher tapered patterns, but on something like this, that's a little bit flatter. We're gonna see what it kind of gives us. What I would expect this ball to do would be very smooth, mid laney blendy, reasonably continuous off the back end without being too much. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so what we're gonna do like uh, any other ball review I do, I'm gonna start up second arrow, see what the lane gives me, make some adjustments off there, get lined up and then play around a little bit. So. Let's try to go up second arrow, see if we can actually hit our mark. Uh, what I would expect, this ball is probably to go through the face, but we'll see. All right, so that wasn't second arrow. That was definitely out to like five down lane, but it recovered, which was kind of neat. Um, on a longer, well, medium longer pattern like this, that normally wouldn't be there in any other place other than center bowl. So, all right, let's see if we can hit our mark this time. We're gonna try to go up second arrow. Again, like I said, I think it's gonna hug too much, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, doing kind of what I thought it would do, which is good. So uh, we're gonna move left a little bit, try to try round third arrow, see what it could, does for us. Yeah, that thing definitely just saw too much friction, slowed down really quick and took a left turn. So see if we can find a little bit more oil. Uh, let's try the third arrow. Nice. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Blended, extended the hook phase a little bit, a little bit smoother down line. I really enjoy bowling balls with weaker to moderate cores and aggressive cover stocks. They just blend the lane out really well for me. They get it slowing down in the right spots, but with being a little bit more heavy handed with that low lower differential, it gets to the heads pretty well, even with an aggressive cover stock. I think this comes out of box at 2000. I think that's what I said. It's definitely not 2000 anymore. It's lane shine a little bit, but. Let's try third arrow again. That looked really good. Hook. Ah, ah. All right, tempin. I uh, got that one right. It definitely came back, but it ran out of energy. So what we're gonna do now is move into fourth arrow. Uh, I did throw the breakaway on this shot. The breakaway from fourth arrow uh, burned up a lot of energy and it just responded too quickly, it seemed like, and just didn't have any energy for the back end. <sighs> if we can get this one to blend out pretty well, I'd be pretty happy with that. Let's see, fourth arrow, 8-10 down the lane. Let's see if we can throw a good shot. Nice. So, so far what I've seen with this ball, I did do a shorter pin to pap on it. It's a four and a half by 60. No, I'm sorry, by 40. Uh, what I wanted to do is get the, differential up a little bit, but mostly increase the RG to get it floated a little bit farther down the line. All right, does that look really good? That made me really excited. Let's see how far left we can get, because this ball is recovering with energy. Uh, definitely a little bit better than the breakaway. Let's see, how far do I want to get left? Make it back, make it back, make it back. Uh, all right, we're starting to tap out a little bit. It definitely didn't have all as much energy as normal. Uh, I do like what Hammer did with this ball. 
I like the Scorpion. Scorpion Sting was pretty good. It was actually my first 14 pound ball, which rolled pretty well for me. I like the fact that they took out the flip puck out of the 3D or, uh, LED core, made it the LED 3.0. It just, it helps blend the lane out a little bit more and it doesn't respond as quickly to friction. It doesn't make that flip because it's lower in the uh, differential by quite a bit. I really like the smooth shape. Try that again. That was great. <laughs> I think I have a new favorite ace. I like this ball a lot. Yeah, this is definitely coming with me this weekend. All right, that makes me happy. It seems pretty versatile. Obviously up the lane, want a little too quickly. There's just no way to get it held off on the pocket. It just wants to cover too many boards. As I move left with it, it did provide a lot of response, which is great. That lower differential definitely clears the, the heads pretty well and it's very responsive down lane with that hybrid cover stock. I'd be very curious to do some surface changing on this. The weight sits down, it's probably 2,500, 3,000 with the uh, lane shine on it, but it provides more recovery than I thought. Um, they've had uh, like the NV Tour line, they made that into a low flare line. Those balls are phenomenal, especially the original. I think it's so underrated, the black one. It's super good, like really, really, really good. This kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but as a symmetric. It's a little bit more continuous off the back end. It doesn't hold the pocket as well as far as, you know, kind of hook stop motion, but if you need to cover some boards left to right, this is definitely it. So that was the review of the Scorpion um, Low Flare. If you guys are interested in it, pick it up at your local pro shop. They released last week, so they should be all around now. I've seen a number of them, number of them at League and on the tour. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel more than you may think. My name is Jason Robarge. We're Revit Up Bowling. Much love, peace.